The Texas South Plains Honor Flight is preparing to return to Lubbock after its final stops in the nation's capital. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks and Christy Harton join us now from the capital where those veterans have honored the fallen and visited the memorials dedicated to their service. Yeah, good afternoon, Karen. We have finished up our wreath laying ceremonies here on the National Mall, uh, starting at the Korean War Memorial, and this is the Vietnam War Memorial you see behind us. Um, a lot of emotion and a lot of, fortunately, some closure for these men. That's um, what I heard from a lot of our veterans. Case and I kind of split off and we're talking to our veterans, and we were finding names on the wall. At, we found the name of a brother, um, friends, brother-in-law, a lot of tears were shed, but one of the things that someone just told me was I've, they've actually been to the wall two or three times, but nothing compares to this. He told me that he'd been here with some of the former <laughs> brothers in arms, some former soldiers finding names with their group, and he said, I finally found a sense of peace with this group, and he truly meant that. And it's the camaraderie, I think, yeah. the shared experiences, the knowing that the people beside you have experienced the same thing, the same loss of a friend, a, a family member. And so taking these names off this wall back home uh, will, as we mentioned, bring closure and that peace and just an understanding of the sacrifice. Of course, they understand, but hopefully, as they mentioned, you know, the kids that have come up to them and thank them for their service, they're thankful that other people are understanding the sacrifices that they've made. And something else I think that is just so very special about this trip is we have had so many of our veterans thank you for sending them on this trip for any donation that you have given them or given to the honor flight to make this possible because it truly is a life-changing experience. So you can follow us along on our social media as we're leaving D.C. We're in the process now of heading to the airport. And, of course, we hope, you will see, we hope to see you at 845 this afternoon, uh, this evening at the Lubbock Airport to welcome these veterans home. About 70 Vietnam veterans who never got that welcome home and those about a dozen Korea War veterans who uh, the Korea War is often known as the Forgotten War. So make sure that their sacrifice isn't forgotten, and we hope to see you this evening. Karen, we'll send it back to you.